Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be taking a look at some of the new budgeting items from Erin Codron. I'm really excited to take a look at these. These items are all available on ErinCodron.com right now, and they're actually all on sale right now. EC Insider access to the Erin Codron Black Friday sale has already begun. It began today, so you can start your holiday shopping and your little stock up at the end of the year Black Friday shopping if you are in anything like me a little bit early as long as you're a member of the EC Insider Club. If you're not, you can sign up. It's free to join. It's just their rewards program. You accrue points for shopping. You can exchange those points in for coupons and there's early access to the sales, gifts with purchases sometimes. It's a really good program and it is completely free to join. If you are shopping from Erin Codron this holiday season and you would like to use my affiliate link, it is down in the description below. I do really appreciate that using that link helps support this channel and also helps enable cool collaborations like this. So I did receive this as a package from the Erin Codron affiliate team to just take a look at and share everything with you. So this was gifted to me. As always, all opinions are my own, but I'm really excited to take a look at everything in this line and a couple of things really in particular, which were already on my shopping list for to pick up during this Black Friday sale season. I will try and link some of these individual items and bundles down in the description below, but if you have any problems finding anything or you have any questions about anything on the line or anything in general, Erin Codron, definitely feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will get you an answer. So I want to start with this, which is actually not from the budgeting line, but this is the Sage Vegan Leather Folio. It is so, so gorgeous. I am so obsessed with this. I love this. I didn't even see this on their website. It was just a surprise in the package, but it's really, really gorgeous. So this is actually a seven by nine folio. It is uh, like super, super buttery soft. It has just a really, really nice feel. It's like this gorgeous green color, uh, gold hardware, and uh, it's designed to hold like a coil planner. You slide the planner in here and then it just like protects your planner. I have a bunch of these from Print Prussian and other, uh, and other companies as well to use to hold my coil planners in. I do really love these. I store them in them. I like to have a little bit of space for decoration. It was like one of the things that I missed when I switched back to coil from rings. I prefer the quail as a binding, but it's really fun to decorate things and set things up. So this is actually absolutely perfect for that. You get like a little taste of being able to decorate things or you can use this functionally. Uh, but I just really, really love this one in particular. It's really, really soft and like floppy. It's not going to bulk up your planner. It's just, a gr it's great for travel too, but I also just like it in general. The closure is a magnetic snap. I, I actually just grabbed a seven by nine planner. This is actually a family organizer book that previously Previously got from Erin Codron, so I could just show you how it works. This is like completely, you can pass your whole arm through it, whatever you want to do. So what you do is you actually slide your back cover into that and it just, you kind of wiggle it in and then it's just sits like that. So when you open your planner, you can just open it up like that. And then when you close it, it's you know, got a little bit of protected. It's not going to slip out. You can store a pen and some different things in the pocket there. It's just, you know, a really nice little accessory for your planner. Again, I do really like folios in general, and this one is, it's really, really soft. It just, it does feel really nice. I just want to give it a nice pat. This is uh, $39.50 retail, but again, like I said, everything is currently on sale. So next up, I have this little budget accordion folder. This is the Flora design, and they actually have a couple different designs, or at least two different designs. There's also a color blends one. So this is absolutely gorgeous. It's in the Flora design, which I love. I mean, In Bloom is totally my jam, so I obviously like Flora as well, which was what I think the floral design was last year. But this is so, so cute. It's got like kind of a hard shell cover. And then when you open it up, it's like these little mini accordion file folders all inside. So this is perfect for storing receipts. You could even put it in your bag. It's pretty small and just take it with you. And that way, if you are out shopping, you can like file your receipts in and then take it out of your bag, put it wherever you keep your other budgeting or financial information stuff. So just this really nice little thing. You could put other little slips of paper in here. It's just like a really cute little pouch with the with the accordion folders in here. I just think this is really, really adorable. This is $12.50 and it is just, it's like 6.9 inches long by uh, 1.6 inches wide. 
wide and then four and an eighth inches. Uh, the, all of that is rounded because I was just looking. It's got a lot of decimal points in, in the actual dimensions. You can check that out. It's written on the description on the website, but just looking at it compared to the seven by nine planner there, uh, the seven by nine folio, you can kind of see the size there. Again, just a really cute little accordion folder. And I just, I really like that a lot. It's very, it's a very stylish way to store your receipts. Next up, we have this weekly budget tracker notepad. It is $10, like most of their notepads of this size are. It's in, I think this is like a color blend style colorway. It's got like the pink to purple ombre. It says week of, this week's budget, weekly money goal, and then it's just got like a date thing, a description category total, debt paid down, added to savings, total spent this week, next week's budget. So just a little budget tracker there. I have this wrapped up in the plastic because I'm pretty sure I'm going Going to gift this along. I know I've had a lot of gifted collabs lately and I am going through all of the stuff that I have. I'm taking inventory of what I want to keep for myself, but anything that I'm not going to use and that I'm going to gift along, all of the giveaways related to that will be in December during Planmas. Uh, I'll be doing giveaways here on Instagram, different places. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so if you've seen something and I've, you've heard me say I'm probably not going to use this, you can you can keep an eye out for that. It, it'll be coming in December and more information coming about that. But anyway, Jumping back in, this, like I said, is just a little spending tracker there. Just a really cute notepad. You know I love notepads. Uh, this one in particular is not something that I see myself really using because I do actually, for like the day-to-day -day individual financial tracking stuff, I find that much easier to do online uh, with something that just like pulls it in automatically reading your, your credit cards. But if you are a person who's like really focused on spending right now, or if you're really trying to be aware of how much you're spending, writing it down is of course a fantastic way to do that because you always remember things better when you write them down. So uh, anyway, this is the weekly, uh, the weekly budget tracker notepad, although it does say weekly spending on the physical notepad. On the website, it's called the weekly budget tracker. Then I also have this little budgeting sticker book here, really cute. It's got gold foil on the cover and it's like the watercolor stripes. I think this this is really, really pretty, and we can give a quick flip through. It's $16.50 for the book, or it's available as part of a bundle with the planner, which I'm gonna show, show you in just a minute. And it is, it says it has 12 sheets of metallic stickers, 624 total stickers across uh, budgeting, savings, and spending. So here are your bill dues, and then you also have these colors. Uh, this first page is in gold foil. The second page, which is in like the purples and gray greens, I would call it, is in rose gold. That is that's a winning color combination in, in my book. And then you have this one that says no spend challenge. And then it has some icons in the middle with like a piggy bank, a little sealed envelope and a little uh, open envelope. So that's what that one looks like. And that is in silver foil. Then you have this one here, which says payment plan with like a paid balance payments left and some payday stickers there and the semicircles in the middle. You can see the colors there and that is in gold foil. Then we have a weekly spending little tracker where you could write down your total spent each day. That's kind of cool thing to do on your weekly sidebar. Uh, and this page is in rose gold and it's got some more payday semicircles along the side there. You can kind of see what the colorway is of all of this stuff. This one is in silver foil with the kind of purples and teals as well. So you get actually a really good mix of the different colors with the different foils and all of the foiling looks really, really nice, obviously. Uh, the gold Gold is definitely like a hotter gold. Uh, it's the same as the other Erin Codron sticker books. And the rose gold is a really nice true pinky rose gold. I do really like their rose gold. So then this one says monthly money check-in. Uh, I actually really love this because this is actually something that I do every month, even though I don't track like my daily spending. This is definitely something that I do. So that could be a really fun way to incorporate that into my planner. And it says budget, savings, debt, and goal. And then it's got some icons on the side that are uh, little dollar signs and shopping carts. Oh, and then it's got some little piggy bank things on the bottom there as well. Uh, then another page, that one is in gold foil, and then another page with like the grays, uh, blues, and purples. I love this colorway. And this one is in rose gold. And then uh, over here on the side, you have some icons here. This one, it's like a little potted plant, but the inside the potted plant 
like inside the little circle on the top of the potted plant. I don't know if you can see that in person. There's actually a little bit of a dollar sign. So it's like growing your money. I don't know, that's really, really cute. It's very like dainty. It's a little bit hard to see on camera, but it's, you, you can see it clearly in person. And then you also have like these little financial growth ones. So that's kind of a fun sticker. I don't know that I've ever seen like either of these icons before. Uh, I like that though. I especially like the like the planting money one. That, that's a fun one. And so you have some more of those piggy banks down on the bottom as well. And then here we just have with the EC asterisk in the background, it says this week's money goals and some more icons in the middle. And this page is in silver foil. And then another one of these with the this week's money goal, but the icons this time are a little diploma, not a diploma, uh, like a graduation hat with a dollar sign attached to it. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like, you could use that really for like college savings or for student loan payments, you know, whichever one of those things is applicable to you, if either is applicable to you. And then it has like an, op an open envelope as well. And then it has a gold foil. So that's really fun. I These icons are very creative. They're like not your standard budgeting icons. I'm very like I it's like inspiring me a little bit of different things you could track using these icons. I really like that. It's like not just like dollar signs and bill due stickers. There's there's some creativity here with the icons. Uh, and then we have another page of all icons here. I think this one is supposed to be for specific bills. So it's got like a little lightning bolt, which is I'm going to go ahead and guess for electricity. You've got water, internet, TV, home. So like rent or mortgage, car payment phone I don't s this one oh credit card I took me I had to pull it a little bit closer to my face credit card and then I'm guessing this is gas because it kind of looks like water but it's like not filled in on the bottom and then it's like filled in on the top I don't know I feel like that's a symbol for for like a gas bill if you if you have gas uh, in your in your house so that is really cute as well like very very specific there and that one is in rose gold then we've got some piggy banks in silver foil and, and that's it so really really cute I, I think this is a really fun sticker book very functional and just also like a little bit different than maybe some other budgeting sticker books that I've seen before but other budgeting stickers that I've seen and again that is $16.50 uh, but currently on sale Okay, so next up we have this calendar. This is actually one of the things that was on my shopping list to pick up myself if I if I hadn't been gifted this. I think this is really, really cool. It is called the Budget File Folders Calendar and it is $24, uh, not on sale. And it's wire O bound at the top and it's also got a thing so you can like hang it on the wall. Like you can uh, easily hang this up. I'm actually gonna zoom out for just a second there. Uh, so you could just like, you know, on any nail or hook. I may put this up on my wall organizer. Uh, if you've seen that, uh, if you've seen that either on my Instagram or I had like a recent YouTube video where I showed that as well. But you guys could just hang this on one of the hooks and it is gonna just hang there. I think that's really, really cool. It's just a general calendar. It has a little bit of budgeting stuff, but each of the months is actually a folder so you can stick things in it, which I love that. And then it's like, there's a tab here, so it's a little bit cut out. I believe that this has instructions on the back for like how it's intended to use it. It's also got some stickers in here. We will uh, file it down in just a second. So uh, let me show you what the instructions say. Again, budget file folder calendar. Customize your calendar with the included sticker sheet featuring budgeting stickers and year round heritage and awareness month stickers. Store your receipts, bills, and important budgeting items so you can stick it in the folder. After the month is done, you can tear along the dotted line to remove move the folder and put it into a filing cabinet if you want. So, and then it says, turn the folder over the contents and, oh, and you can document what's inside and also like give this month's details. So, okay, so you stick everything in here as you go throughout the month. I'm just gonna put the sticker book in there for now so that you can see, but like obviously that's not what's supposed to go in there. You put like different receipts, documents, whatever you wanna do. And then you, after the month is over, you can actually, this whole thing is peripherated and you can tear the whole thing out out and 
again, store it in something else if that is what you would like to do. And it says this month's overview, income, savings, debt loans, housing, utilities, transportation, food, health, memberships and subscriptions, entertainment. It's got more space you can put wherever you want. Total income, total expenses, difference, total savings and investments. So just something there that you can write on the back. And again, you can go like rip this out and store it. Uh, I was like wiggling that January one a little, so it's definitely like starting to come apart. So I'm gonna stop wiggling it because I do actually think I'm going to use this. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna use it for budgeting. You could obviously use it for anything. I was actually thinking like this little section and the back aside that this makes like a really great school calendar too because it has like you could slip in like little art pieces and different things the kids have brought home from school throughout the year saving we save favorites only we do not save every piece of of art that comes home from school I love my kids but you know none of them are at the ages of six four and two uh, award-winning artists just yet anyway uh, so it does say oh next to the calendar here which is a Sunday start and it is in I believe this is the color blends Again, this, I think this is the color blends colorway, but it's like, it looks to me more muted than, than like the color blends. Fortunately for me, I have a, uh, I have like an Erin Cotron planner in almost every colorway at this point. I actually think I have everything except a Harmony Neutral. So I'm gonna have to work on that. I'm actually thinking about buying a Harmony Neutral. But yeah, so if you look at the January color, like I said, so this is, it's, it is color blends. It's like blue and then the pink of February and the green of March, the purple of April, but it is just, I would say, a little bit more muted than the actual color blends color, which like this is an hourly planner that's in color blends, and here is the March color versus one versus the other. I love this. I It's so pretty. The colors on this are so gorgeous. It's like the fun of this, but just slightly muted. Uh, it's very much my color palette. So I don't know if this is maybe a sign of things to come. I have no forward knowledge of what is going on with the with the next set of Erin Codron colorways, but I will say that I absolutely love this and this is a newer product. So anyway, that is what you have. You have the whole year. It is dated. Um, I'm definitely keeping this. I'm definitely using this. I really, really like it. And uh, at the back, it does have stickers. So once you get to the back here, you can see the stickers. It's got some Bill Do stickers over here. So a bunch of icons that match with like the icons uh, that were inside this sticker book, which is upside down and that's why I can't find them. So it's like the same like electric, water, internet, all that kind of stuff. And uh, this, is, the stickers in here are all in gold. It's got some paydays, some bill dues, uh, some of this kind of bill dues, some payment, uh, payment plan stickers, some money ones, and then it also has, uh, oh, your heritage and awareness stickers. So they're listed out by like by the actual date. So this is February 2023, Black History Month begins, March 2023, Women's History, International Women's Day, International Day of Happiness, etc. It goes throughout the year with like all different ones that you can stick on. And then it also has a section where you can add your own in. And it's just like some blank ones there down at the bottom. So that's really nice as well. And then at the back like I said you do have it does come with some instructions on it which was also nice because this is a, like a brand new product for them I don't think they've ever done anything like this before but it's just a really really fun calendar uh, and yeah I'm really excited for that so next up there is a set of budgeting specific dual list markers so you have get they're not in order because I actually already took them out but there is a gray circle a green dollar sign a red envelope a pink piggy bank a purple asterisk and a gray circle and a teal check mark. So just like the work like any of the other stamping markers, they sell a big pack of these that is just like circles and asterisks and they sell a teacher version of this, uh, just a general stamping marker. I the ones of these that I like that I use, I use all the time. And I've said this before, the black asterisk stamping marker has a like place of honor in my most frequently used pen cups. I use this almost every single day. It is one of my favorite pens. It works super, super well and I love it. Uh, that was not a good, I'm standing up so it's hard to get a good even one. And actually I do think that this might even start to be running out because I do use it all of the time. Um, but that one I don't have a problem with 
getting to work. Some of the other ones I do have a problem getting to work and you can kind of see these all require a little bit of a warm up. I've already stamped these. Uh, I did it off camera, but you can see what all of them look like. In general, I've found that the asterisk and the check mark both are marker, both work really well. Some of, and the dollar sign, you just have to make sure you're like orienting it the right way. Um, and that one also works really well. I don't love the pea bank one. I think that it doesn't really look that much like a pig. And uh, the circle ones, I tend to have a problem with. I, I like. I feel like they never give me that purple, perfect circle that I'm looking for. And the Bildu one, I also had like a little bit of trouble with. But it's gonna vary. I've just found that these markers, they're not the most consistent, like across packs, across uh, colors, across shapes, etc but the ones that do work well, I really, really do like, and I hope that they, my dream for the listing markers is that they come out with an all, like an all black ink line, because I use the black ink one so much. I would love to, if it was all asterisks, I would love it if it were different shapes, but that is my dream for this. This one is not that, it's really nice, bright and colorful, and I will definitely be using at least some of these. I really like the check mark one too, and that's in a nice soft teal, um, but that is the dual budget listing markers. And those are $16.50 before any sales or promotions. So then next up, I actually have two copies of the budget planner. Uh, they sent me the A5 spiral bound one or coil bound one, which has this gold coil. It's much smaller than like the coil that's in the Daily Duo, the A5 or any of the A5 planners. And then also they sent me a version that is in rings. I don't know if I'm gonna keep either of these. I will definitely not be keeping both of them, so stay tuned for more on that. They do look the same. I may open this one up just to see because it does look like it has at least different stickers in the back, but this one says every little bit counts. It is $25.50, or you can actually buy it in a bundle with the listing markers and the sticker markers for $46.50. So that is one of the deals that is available. It is like a standard planner cover thing, so you can pull the planner out, the cover out. You can use this cover on a different planner. You can put this cover, you can put a, any A5 size EC cover, or any other cover that works with EC planners on this. So that's even though the coil is smaller, it's still like the same thickness. So you can still totally use all of your interchangeable colors with it. So that is really nice. Again, I th believe it's in like, it seems like a muted version of the color blends colorway in here. Although this one is actually starting with this more muted pink color uh, and this is an undated planner so it says budget every little bit counts this book belongs to and then it has a thing to you know some instructions on how to use it which is printed with white font on this very very vibrantly colored page uh, which is really just really it's a very in your face how to use this planner and it's got like big picture check-ins, goal setting considerations, monthly budget tracking, stay on track and celebrate. And then here we have a checking in section with like some big picture stuff. It's how I currently feel about my finances, how I want to, main goal for the budget planner, big picture finance goal, two different, oh, three different big picture finance goals. And then you get into each monthly section. So on the tab page, which is laminated tabs, just same as all of their other ones but again undated you've got like a bill due sec uh, like a bill due section here restock on and larger purchases so like that's a great place to put in uh you know like if you have to put a down payment on camp for example or you're planning to refinish your basement which are all things that we are doing um you know you can put your larger purchases in there and then this month's financial goals a listing section down here and then like a little box here that is blank but shaded in where you can put some other category of something. Then we have overview four, so you can put the name of the month up at the top. You've got a section here for income, housing, transportation, utilities, food, savings, health, entertainment, and then a bunch of different blank ones. So you actually have four different blank ones so you can create different categories just depending on what works life, what works for your life. This is really nice in general, but I don't have anything in here that I don't think like I maybe wouldn't do a whole category on health. It's not like a whole area that I spend a lot of money on, but like 
there's nothing in here that says kids that is going to make you have to grab the white out every month because you don't have kids. There's nothing in here that says like you own a home. It just says housing. So where do you live if it's renting or not? So I like how generic this is. It's really flexible. It's going to be work for like the vast majority of people. It's not overly specific, but it's enough to give you uh, guidance. And then it does have a section here that says debts and payment plans, then total income, total expenses, difference, and total savings, which even if you're not doing that on paper planning, I, it's just something I highly recommend tracking just for, for life knowledge. Uh, weekly, like at a bare minimum of what you track financially. Uh, weekly spending here, so you could actually go out and list all of your spending uh, and like individually write all the things. I, I've mentioned before, I think already on this video and also in the past, this is not something that I do, but I think that this is a really great way to really pay attention to your finances is if you, Every time you spend money, you're writing it down. You are definitely going to be aware of what you're spending. And it gives you plenty of space to do that. You have multiple sheets here to go through. I think it's like uh, six pages. So like one, two, three, four, yeah, five, six pages of that. And then you get into the next month. So this page, you can tell by the color coding, which makes it nice and easy. This is going into the previous month. So it's interesting, like the way that the tabs lay. So you have the, this page is not part of the previous month. It's part of the future month, which uh, I feel like is different than some of, I don't know, actually, is it? Well, I guess no, because the asterisk on this is is with the the February color here, but um, it's just a line notes page in the, in the regular planner. So anyway, then you go through, there are 12 months in it and each month is in a different color, but again, it's undated. So, you know, you can pick whenever you want to start. And then in the back, when you get to the end, it has a 12 month check-in with the same uh, questions that were on the front. Well, actually not. It says how I currently feel about my finances, progress I've made towards my financial goals, progress I've made on saving savings or investing and progress I've made on paying down debt. So, oh, and then more. Uh, so on this page, it says what worked to keep my goals on track, what work to keep my spending on track, any pivots or adjustments and financial goals I want to uh, focus on in the next 12 months. So just basically an end of the year wrap up on that very pretty but very vibrant and bold color blends printed paper. And then there's some trackers on the back of this tab is labeled and it does say trackers. So we have a savings tracker here. I think there's like a few pages of each of these and it says savings for savings goal deadline. And then each page has that like, so if you are saving for something specific rather than general savings, uh, then you have another one here and another one in a couple of different colors here. Okay, so you have eight different, I believe eight different pages of savings trackers. So two, four, six and eight. And then after that, we have a debt or payment plan tracker in this brown color and in gray, blue, and yeah, gray, blue. So one, two, three, four. So, and then eight of those debt or payment plan trackers, and then a special occasion budget tracker. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess that we've got eight of these as well in these more purple colors. Yeah, uh, eight of those. And then the back here, it just has like the little EC information printed on the back of that color blends thing. And then we also have these budget stickers. And I believe that this budget sticker is the same as that's like the petite planner one that it comes with and like the sheet that I don't remember if they sell these separately. They used to, um, but yeah, so it's just like a more no, it's like a more decorative style budget sticker with just, and this one is foiled in rose gold. So that is it. And then there's no folder or anything in here, um, but it's just a nice little A5 size budget planner and you can use your regular A5 size EC covers. So I also got this as a insert, uh, as a ring bound insert planner. I, oh, I do have a, an A5 ring. I was gonna say, I don't think I have an, an A5 set of rings, but I actually have one A5 set of rings, which is from Kiki K. Uh, it's a million years old. So I, I, I've not been in this size in a really long time, like actually since before I had a YouTube channel, um, but I am gonna open this and we can pop it in there. 
and take a look. So, oh yeah, so here you go. It's, this is, oh, so it's the same set of stickers. It's, so that is what it looks like inside a ring planner. Erin Cartron does sell a five size ring folio, so that was not included in this thing. This is just a ring planner in this size that I happened to have because I have a lot of planners in a lot of different sizes. So yeah, so it's the same as in the other one. I do like the idea of this as a rings planner because like you could also punch like punch your receipts or punch different documents and put them in here. I do think that like a budgeting planner is something that really makes sense as a rings planner. Uh, anything where like it's really helpful to move things around or add things in, it's gonna be, you know, uh, something that works as a, as a budgeting planner. Yeah. So this is all, it looks exactly the same. And then I also do have a dashboard uh, that was included in this, which is for a rings and it is the monthly bills dashboard. It's a double sided A5 dashboard and like again it fits on any rings these do fit on any A5 like standard size rings so even if you have like an A5 wide pl uh, planner like your whole punch is gonna line up to that like if you've got a cloud or another A5 wide uh, planner which I definitely do that's gonna work on that so on this side it says monthly bills and it's got all of the months of the year. Um, it is $5.50 and it's made for the A5 rings agenda and it just says colorful on the website. So it's just a nice little one there. And then you've also got a savings and debt tracker on the back there as well. So, and all of these are work with like wet erase and dry erase markers and are just a nice thing that you can pop in your planner. They also make like really great page dividers, uh, etc. So that is a really fun thing. I can go ahead and leave that in there. And that is the budget plan both the uh, coil bound version and the ring bound version and that is everything that was in this package so I hope you enjoyed getting to see all of the new budget planner items are you planning to pick any of these up while they are on Black Friday sale definitely let me know in the comments down below or if you're planning to shop from the general Erin Codron website you can also let me know what you're gonna go and pick up in the comments below I will definitely share what I pick up as soon as I have it thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at MyCraftyPlans for even more planner fun. Bye!